Welcome back to another video and welcome to 2026. I know that I am a little bit late starting off this year, but I have been busier than ever. I'm currently moving in to a brand new 3D printing workshop, as well as buying my own car for the very first time. So I am very, very busy behind the camera. Now I have finally somewhat caught up with life and we are back to a brand new 2026. And we are gonna kick off 2026 right away with me sharing my absolute favorite website that I think that every single beginner 3D printer should know about and which you can access by simply clicking the link down in the description, which is Hytem 3D, which is also the sponsor of today's video and also the creator of all these absolutely amazing 3D prints you have here on the table. I don't know about you, but when I started 3D printing last year, I was first extremely surprised over just how incredibly easy it is to find countless of different items and that I can literally just print out using my phone. And of course, every single one of us will start with printing out accessories to our own 3D printers, which have been both designed by professionals and tested by thousands. But just a few weeks later, I was equally surprised over just how incredibly difficult it is to actually learn 3D design design by yourself, especially when it comes to some more organic designs like humans, figurines and just non-geometrical shapes. And then just a few days after that, I was even more disappointed when I realized that although we live in the time of AI photos and videos, it is more or less impossible to actually use AI models to get a good, highly detailed 3D file for 3D printing. Well, at least until now and until Hytem 3D. Because now all you have to do is to simply just upload one single photo to Hytem 3D, click generate, and that is literally it. It honestly could not be any easier. The only problem is how do we actually get a photo of a product that only exists in our minds? Well, there are countless of other AI services, for example, Gemini or Nano Banana Pro, which is the AI photo generation service that I tend to use most often. And one of my good friends is in need of an iPhone holder, and he's also a huge fan of cute cats. So I simply went on to Gemini and asked to design a phone holder in the shape of a cute cat, so it looks like the cat is holding up a phone once the phone is leaning onto the cat. It should be a cute design and it's for 3D printing, so it needs to also stand on its own, both with and without the phone attached. And Gemini or Nano Banana knew of course exactly what I wanted, so I just took that photo, uploaded it onto Hytem, just pressed generate, and then a few minutes later I did have this uh, STL or any other kind of a 3D file formats if you do have some other 3D workflow that you want some other files for, for whatever reason. And then after the printing was done, I then found this 100% unique cute cat holder in perfect condition here on my printer. Now, full disclaimer, I did actually adjust the size myself. I, I just had to like eyeball it basically, uh, just to make sure that this side here uh, is as big and actually fits my iPhone. And I just went with the width of my iPhone being like the total width of the cat. I figured that that was scientific enough to uh, most likely work in this scenario. Uh, and as we can see, uh, although uh, maybe I could have done it a little bit larger so the phone actually goes all the way down, uh, it works exactly as I intended. And of course, uh, it also stands and balance on its own, both with the phone and also if I do remove the phone. They also have a multi view to 3D function as well. And maybe this sounds pretty straightforward, but multi view allows you to upload multiple photos to make sure that every single angle of your 3D design is exactly as you want. Now you could upload up to four different sites and there's actually only one thing that I do have four different photos of from four different sites and that is my brand new car, the Tesla Model Y Juniper version that you can see here in 3D printed format thanks to Hydem 3D, uh, including with the, the light bar in the front and of course also the light bar in the back as well 
which I think might be one of the coolest features with this new car. Yeah, in terms of like overall printing quality, please don't judge me too much. Just to save a little bit of time, I printed this in 0.8 millimeter nozzles. So uh, anything that you might see here that is low quality uh, is, uh, I would say, 99% because of my printing settings or my printing nozzle choice in this case. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers might notice that the front isn't really that straight, uh, but turns out that my reference photos was actually not that straight either. So uh, I would actually say that that mistake is on me because I didn't actually take this photo straight from the front. And just to test Hytem 3D, uh, just to see how good it could actually create things if you do it the best reference images possible, I was actually using a Canon's reference images for my camera, the Canon R5, uh, in order to get all of these different uh, views just to see how good Hytem 3D actually is. But I have to say, like straight out from Hytem 3D, the only thing I have done with this specific print is just to add this red color so it looks like the, the L series lenses from Canon, which I think uh, really helps selling this uh, prototype. Uh, even better actually. I mean, weight wise, of course, there's a <laughs> night and day difference, uh, but in terms of like overall shape, overall size, overall like feel in terms of like how it feels to like hold the camera, this is like 90% there. And the fact that I can just create this with four photos and then just like printing this overnight, it is mind blowing. And, and we even have like, all these different like glass design here in the front, different layers, different like a manual focus sliders. Uh, you have like the viewfinder and we also have these like uh, raffles uh, that you have like if you want to manually adjust the, the, the focus and, and the zoom. I am, I am so positively surprised by, by Hydem 3D. I think uh, most people who are using Hydem 3D are doing it to customize their own small uh, miniatures or small characters, for example, uh, for Dungeons and Dragons or similar games. I, I don't know if Dungeons and Dragons is a game. I, I never like played it myself. I don't really know how. I don't really understand what it's about. I just uh, went ahead and I asked Gemini to create its own prompt in order to create the images or the characters since I have absolutely no idea how to do this myself. And then I just filled in the key search terms, which if you are familiar with my channel and my 3D printing uh, web store, then I am located here in Taiwan where we do have this famous Taiwanese bear. So I thought, why not? Not make a Taiwanese bear warrior since that for very understandable reasons do not really exist in the Dungeons and Dragons world already. It is so much better that I could possibly have hoped for. If you for some reason is not 100% satisfied with the result, you actually get three retries for free if you are using Hydem 3D. So you can create basically the exact same uh, prompted uh, character, but but there will be uh, just some retries in case there are some specific issues that you're not 100% satisfied with. I also went down in size and I printed this with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle using my Bamboo Lab A1. And in terms of like the resolution, if that is how we're measuring resolution in 3D printed uh, items, uh, thanks to their latest 1536p cube uh, resolution model, which is the most detailed 3D design model I have ever seen. Uh, it is light year ahead, uh, not only Hydem's previous generation, but also some other uh, 3D generating softwares or platforms out there. Uh, it is like night and day. Uh, just be aware of that you might need some very, very fine tools in order to deal with the supports from Bamboo Studio, or maybe just spend a little bit more time designing your own supports just to make sure that the smaller, delicate kit, uh, for example, weapons in this case, uh, survives the, the support removal process. But if you do have some experience, if you know what you're getting yourself into, uh, I think that you're going to fall in love with Hydem 3D just as much as I've been doing. Uh, but I have been falling in love with Hydem 3D for a completely different reason, and actually the third kind of function and feature on their website. And that is
is their portrait function or their portrait mode, which uh, to no surprise is amazing if you do want to create portraits and together with some marble PLA, uh, in this case it's from Sunlu, uh, you could create these uh, ancient uh, portraits <laughs> or statues of whoever you want, maybe your favorite uh, 3D printing YouTuber uh, and uh, yeah, again, absolutely amazing the things that we now can create with a 3D printer and I was gonna say some imagination but there is like zero imagination included here. I literally just like took a selfie, I uploaded it to Hidem 3D and you get this. And again this is with Hidem 3D's 1536p cube resolution model which is also available on their free plan as well. So there's literally no excuse to not go and try out Hidem 3D the for yourself right away uh, because you have absolutely nothing to lose if you are checking out their free plan and then even with the free plan you can actually get a commercial license as well so you could actually start selling uh, your own uh, sculptures to uh, family or friends or uh, whoever you feel is deserving enough of having a little mini you in their living room. And of course, as I mentioned, it, once you have this STL, uh, you can just drag it into Bamboo Studio or your 3D printing slicer of choice and the file itself will behave just like any other kind of STL file. So uh, again, if you want to customize it even further and if you want to change the size, if you want to like add text, if you want to add combining it with some other items, uh, again, uh, it's just up to your own imagination or to your own uh, skill set. And if you want to increase your own skill sets when it comes to 3D printing or Bamboo Studio, you of course also have tons of other 3D printing related videos here on this channel. So please go and check out all of those videos, specifically the ones regarding Bamboo Studio, if you're not really familiar with how that slicing software works. And I promise you that before you know it, I'll be back with some even more 3D printing related videos and a lot more other interesting videos videos for the rest of 2026. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with Alice and like, ends with S and subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.